Hey everyone, this is Jaymore with Jaymore Photography, and today I'm going to share a clever little tip and trick with inside of Photoshop CC called the Content Aware Scale Feature. Now this is a recent image that I took of uh, two incredibly cool clients in my studio and working with a seamless paper roll, the Thunder Gray uh, backdrop that I used here. You can see that I was somewhat limited in the space that I had to fit my clients in on the canvas. And so what I want to do is I want to give this more of a widescreen look and just lengthen the image on either side without distorting my uh, subjects in the photo. So to do this we can just right click within Lightroom and go to uh, edit in Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to go ahead and select to add uh, the image in Photoshop with the Lightroom adjustments and now you'll notice that I've got my image in Photoshop and I'm going to zoom out to give me uh, some workable space here and I'm going to duplicate the layer by doing a control J on my keyboard to now uh, go in and select my crop tool. The crop tool is located here. You can hit C on your keyboard. That's a shortcut for the crop tool and I can extend this out on either side. So that looks about right. When I hit enter you'll notice that I have this uh, white space now and in the past prior to um, CS5 without these advanced features we would have uh, spent time going into the clone stamp and uh, painting this area in and the reason for that is if I were to take this image and try and move it you can see how much it warps the image and that's not what we want so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up to the top under the the edit menu and I'm gonna go to content aware scale and now I can let Photoshop push that out and you'll see that it's doing a relatively good job of lengthening or widening my image without skewing my my subjects now there will um, it will get to a point where you'll do this and you'll push Photoshop a little bit too far and it will start to distort uh, some of the features um, in the middle of the image that you're trying to protect so one of the options that you can do in here and you can notice that here if I zoom in we can see that his foot actually got just a little bit bigger and so what I want to do and to some people you may not even notice that and this image might look fine but to protect some of these values what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna redo this process now and I'm going to tell uh, certain areas of the image to get to be protected from um, that distortion and so I'm you could do this a couple of different ways you could use your quick selection tool um, you could use your lasso tool that's what I'm gonna use really quick just for the sake of time I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna do a, a real rough um, selection here with my lasso tool I'm you can see that I'm doing this quick I'm not paying attention really paying too much close attention to making this look perfect all right now that I've got this selection what I can do is go up to the top under select and say save selection and I can name it so I'm gonna just go in and name this client and I'll hit OK and now that I've done that that is the zone that I want to protect as I'm extending this out to either side so now when I go up to my edit menu and I go to content aware scale this people or person icon up at the top is protecting if we hover over it it will tell you that it's um, trying to protect the skin values or skin tones within this image that's what it's looking for so that it doesn't skew um, or distort the image when you're extending it out well in areas like this with his pant and some of the darker areas it's hard for Photoshop to tell or know 
um, when that breaking point is going to be when I'm using that extension. So what I can do is I can come up here and I can select from my drop down menu my saved selection that I named client and now when I'm extending this out you'll notice that it's protecting that selection and it's not um, distorting the image. Now when I hit enter I can go in and it's maintained its aspect ratio and I can flatten that down and that has saved me a considerable amount of time from not having to come in and patch all of this extra work in and I've simply done that with a few clicks using that advanced feature found in Photoshop CC called the content aware scale and that is located under your edit menu. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful for many of you this is very basic for some of you that are just starting out that have been interested in some of the tips and tricks uh, that I use in my own workflow. This has saved me a lot of time and I hope that you're able to use it in your own workflow. Uh, be sure to follow me. I will be adding more videos shortly, tutorials on some more advanced features that I've incorporated into my retouching and I hope it benefits all of you.